Hi, this is Kim Ironman from Eco Beneficial, bringing you more useful landscape tips to improve our environment. When you go to the nursery or the garden center, oftentimes the only evergreen rhododendrons that you see available for sale are exotic ones or hybrids. There are a couple native ones that are really worth consideration. This is one. This is rhododendron catawbiens, catawba rhododendron. It's a white form of this particular plant. Now, where I see this growing naturally, typically heath bulbs um, way up high in western North Carolina in full sun. It's a plant that's adapted to those conditions and very different from another one of our native evergreen rhododendrons, bay leaf rhododendron, rhododendron maximum. And we'll take a look at that too. The flowers are really beautiful of this plant and definitely worth considering for your native garden. If you're thinking about using a native rhododendron in your shade garden, think about using our native bay leaf rhododendron, rhododendron maximum. It's the most shade tolerant of the evergreen rhododendron species, and it has these long uh, bay leaf-like shaped leaves. Now, last year's bloom can be seen here these little pods, but this plant is going to bloom a pinky white bloom in the uh, summertime, and right now it's pushing out some beautiful new growth. They can get pretty big. In the southeast, on hikes in the Smoky Mountains and western North Carolina, I've seen huge areas of these that actually arch over the trails, creating what are called rhododendron hells. It's a beautiful plant and a great addition for shade garden. This is Kim Ironman from Eco Beneficial. Thanks for watching. For more useful tips, please visit www.ecobeneficial.com. <music>